Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back to I Don't Like Grumpy with me, the grumpiest of the grumps of them all. I ain't really that grumpy, I don't know why I say it. Um, but we're back again, and today we're going to take another little look at some more MMA clips. Um, without looking at a company, so to speak, more, we're going to look at what I've decided to do is put in MMA fighter versus, you know, versus whoever. So I'll come up with a different bunch of fighters and we will see how the martial art of mixed martial arts gets on against these individual martial arts, shall we? So um, let's jump in and take a look. Um, the very first one we're going to have a look at is a MMA fighter versus a Chinese Kung Fu master. Kung Fu is one of those uh, made up martial arts. It's great for exercise, it's great for mental exercise, for, 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 for you know, keeping your body active and things like that. But when it comes to real self-defense, I'm not sure if it's legit. So without further ado, let's jump right in and uh, crack on with this. So here they go. Oh, he's doffed him, he's doffed. Oh, oh, did you see that? Sort of, they're not gonna put replays, so I'll jump in and do another little replay, but that was seconds. He stretched across and it was just one straight right. And by the looks of it, the Kung Fu Master had no way to defend himself. Absolutely none. Two. Oh! So what happens then? Yeah, that's, um, I didn't expect to be over that quick, if I'm honest. Uh, was he pointed at? He Did he say, you can't punch me that hard, mate? You can't punch me like that, this isn't real. <laughs> it fucking is, mate. Oh, you see what I mean? The kung fu. If you watch the kung fu guy, I'll watch that again quickly. He has no way to defend himself because what they don't teach you is any way to defend yourself. So let's have another look. See that? See, he had no way. He just he threw his hands out. Oh, so that's three quick knockdowns. Oh, he's coming for a kick. Oh, no. Oh, that last, that wasn't even funny, was it? That wasn't even funny. Was that real? So he sparks him over here, and they get him back up, and they go again, and they go in the far corner, throws a kick, which is good, and then smash. Oh, and again. See, put your um, kids into boxing, mixed martial arts, jiu-jitsu, something like that, not, not kung fu. So, what do we do? I stand them. Oh, <laughs> he, just, he just hits them all over the place. I think this is the same fight from a different angle. So now you'll get to see this amazing punch again from here. This is where we go sleep. There he is. Oh. Don't fuck with professionally trained fighters. They'll do that shit to you. They will do that shit to you. Right, so the next one is an Aikido master versus big MMA fighter. So it's just a normal Aikido master against big MMA fighter. So let's jump in and see who goes. I'm going to go MMA fighter every time just because it's MMA, isn't it? Both quite big boys, touch of hands, always sportsmanship. It's always weird when a clock goes up. Oh, look at the Aikido stance, look at that. Throwing weird, ra oh, but he can't defend himself. Oh. That's the one thing about it, let's go back and watch again. All right, he's okay, he's got some funky, weird move on the attack. Like when he's like weirdly moving his hand in quickly, but he ain't got no defense there. So maybe he just sticks him through the middle. See, look, nice weird attack motion. Threw one over the top, didn't know how to defend it. And again, big right hit. Now he's got him in close, because oh, Aikido Masters got angry. Did everybody see that face? Oh, oh. Oh, it's not just about attacking. 
it is also about how you can defend yourself. It's so important in any fight. Oh, uppercut, left hand. Oh, I'm assuming they're gonna allow a little bit of ground and pound. So let's watch. Bang, bang, bang. That second one, what can you do? So is that it, fight over? Or is that just a break in it? Yeah, that was it, fight over. That's what happens. So yeah, as you can see, the Aikido guy looked funky and he did some quite cool moves. But once you get him on the floor, you can fucking pound him in. So next fight is going to be boxing champion. Something slightly different. Gone off the MMA against the Shaolin Monk. Um, so we'll jump in. We'll have a little look how it goes. I would do a tail of the tape and all those things, but I think this is in Chinese. So... Let's jump in, do round one, see how it goes. Touch of gloves, always nice to see. Touch of gloves. Craziest thing about these Shaolin monks as well is that they don't really defend themselves neither. If you watch some of these fights, the way they take punches is, is nuts. Oh, nice kick from the monk. Oh, he got him in a, he hit him in a clinch. You're not allowed to hit inside a clinch in this. Or was it a low blow? Inside the clinch or a low blow? Maybe it was a low blow. Dick kick. Ooh! Touch gloves again. Ooh. Nice shots from the monk. Great kick as well from the kickboxer. Oh, 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 what an absolutely superb knee. Absolutely superb. I did not see that coming from anywhere. Oh. Oh. That is bananas. Wow, these Shaolin monks, look. Oh, no. Tough, tough dudes, don't they? I'd love to see some in the UFC. I'd love it. Because obviously you see these videos of them breaking all the glass and all of this lot. I'd love to see them jump into the UFC and give it a blast. But so, that's another quick one. So the third, uh, the fourth, sorry, video that we'll take a quick look at is MMA fighter versus Tai Chi master. Um, from again, from in China. A lot of these are in China because there was that one guy, um, Zhu Zhao Dong. He went around and he exposed a lot of these masters for being bullshit, basically. So, um, yeah, I think this is him versus one of the uh, Tai Chi masters. And if you know what Tai Chi is, you see people doing it on a beach in, like, action movies. And they're going, oh, yeah, that's Tai Chi. There's nothing, no reality about it. No one's got chi. If you want to debate that, I'll chi on your face. Let's get into this. So he's just, I'm guessing, mate, he's just explaining the rules. He's saying, look, no eye gouging, no dick kicks, but fuck each other up because that's what the people come to see. And this crowd of people didn't gather just for a laugh, did they? So Tai Chi Master saying, don't punch me too hard. Here we go. Round one. Fight. See, so look at the weird Tai Chi stand like he's expecting him to... Like that's not guarding your face. Look at the MMA fighter's stance. Just look at the difference in their stance. Just if you look down and see where mate he's ready, like he's ready, to, he's in his MMA stance. He's postured up. His hands are ready. He's ready to throw a, a jab if he needs to. And he's ready to throw a big right if he needs to. What are you throwing from up there? Like hold your hands up for two minutes and then try and throw something hard. Keep your hands just there, just on your chest. Absolutely fine. So, this is going to end bad, I think. Like, really fucking bad. All right, missed, missed. On the defensive. Oh, he's got him, though. And he's just pounding him on the floor. Ow. 
cold because the one thing Tai Chi don't teach her is how to defend ground strikes. Mitty walks off like it's not his business, touches his knee. And another master bites the dust. I wonder, does he get up and have a round two? These guys generally are quite tough. And what happened in a lot as well, this, this, um, Zhu Zhai Dong, Zhu Zhai Dong, he, um, he hasn't got credit rating in China anymore. If you're bad in China, you get your credit rating that taken off you. So you, so you can't get a bus, you can't get a train, you can't get like a credit card, you can't get any of these things because he's been around and he's shamed all of these Tai Chi masters. But, um, that are teaching for bullshit in the wild, isn't it? We're in we're in a modern age where, you know what I mean. If you try and bullshit people and bullshit things, there's too many cameras around and they fucking will expose you. So, on that fun, happy, grumpy ass note, I'm gonna leave it here. Have yourselves a good one. Much love from me. Peace. <laughs> I can't be bothered.